How's it going guys? Needless Space here. Today we're going to be talking about Destiny 2 and the fastest way to rank up your Season Pass in Season of Arrivals. Welcome to the channel with fast and easy guides to get straight to the point. If you can appreciate that, please consider leaving a like on the video and subscribing to the channel. And also, if you want to get a free premium Season Pass, just stick around and I'll tell you how later. So Season of Arrivals has been out for nearly two weeks now, and it comes with loads of new content, but one thing that remains consistent across all seasons is the desire to rank up the Season Pass. And it's no different this season, there's loads of benefits to ranking up, including unlocking mods, gear, materials, etc. So we're going to go over the fastest way to boost up the ranks to reap the rewards as quickly as possible. Now, of course, the way you level up the Season Pass is by gaining XP, which in reality, you can actually gain XP from doing just about anything in the game, but the largest amounts of XP come from doing bounties. Now, the largest amount come from weekly bounties, then dailies, then lastly, repeatable bounties. And yes, doing weekly bounties from the Vanguard, Crucible, and Gambit will give you a good chunk of XP, but there's an even faster way to farm it out. So first off, I know some of you are against doing this, but if you don't have the premium season pass, I highly recommend getting it. Not only for the extra rewards you receive, but you do get some different XP boosts along the way that will only increase the amount you get from every gain. Next thing, make sure you have a ghost shell equipped with the perk Guiding Light. This is going to increase all your XP gains by 10%, so dig through your vault if you have to. Check the Eververse, or if you were part of the Almighty event from last season, you can actually pick up a Ghost Shell from Raul that has this perk. It isn't necessary to have one of these, but with the strategy we're using, it's going to make a huge difference. Now, last step before we get started with the farm, make sure you have a decent amount of Glimmer. As you know, you can get Glimmer from doing just about anything in the game, but if you have some extra planetary materials, you can also head over to Spider and trade for some more Glimmer. This is probably the fastest way to get it. All right, now that we have all that prep work out of the way, we're going to be heading to a few specific vendors that will give us multiple bounties that we can complete all at the same time while only doing one activity. Now the main activity we're going to focus on is the new contact public event on IO. This is also simultaneously going to help us work towards seasonal triumphs, gaining umbral engrams, and there's also going to be a lot of players doing this right now so it'll only help us finish it even faster. Alright, so first off, head to the Prismatic Recaster. Just about every bounty you can get from here will be able to complete while we're doing the contact public event. And they will also give you twisted energy so you can focus whatever umbral engrams we're going to receive while farming. So grab the weeklies, dailies, and as many repeatables as you can fill in your inventory. And then next we're going to check out the vendors at the gunsmith in the tower, Asher Mir on Io, and certain ones from Eris on the moon. Most bounties from these vendors can be easily completed while doing the contact public event on IO. They actually consist mostly of getting elemental kills, ability kills, and kills while using specific weapons. So make sure to discard any that require kills from a weapon that you don't currently have or that you don't feel like pulling out of your vault. That way you can fill up your inventory with bounties that you're actually going to complete without having to make a trip back. I was easily able to complete every single one within a few runs of the contact public event. Just make sure you're switching out the correct weapon types and the subclasses needed while you're completing the contact public event. Now, I know the majority of you guys are solo players, and for the most part, I am too, other than when I have to look for a group to complete something. But if you can, group up into a fire team while doing this because you actually get a shared bonus to all XP gains while doing so. So if you're like me and you don't have a ton of time to play the game, but you still want to rank up your season pass, this is the best method for you. Let me know down in the comments what your season rank currently is, and I want you guys to go farm a bit using this method, and then come back and tell me what your season rank is after. Don't be afraid to flex those numbers. And as I mentioned earlier, I'm giving away a free premium season pass. All you have to do is make sure you're subscribed, give the video a like, and comment down below with the hashtag Season of Arrivals. I will see you guys in the next video, and as always, good luck and have fun.